What's up, Juski? Oh, the power of Drew. It's been a while. Yeah, about a week. Did you bring it? <laughs> Did I bring it? Man, I lost three good men for this. What's up, Juskies? And you! That's kind of redundant since it was already said previously in the last scene. Uh, uh, what's up, you people? Uh, what's up, you cool, awesome dudes? Uh, Uh, what's up? Uh, what's up, cat and kittens? Uh, I just got the 12 millimeter f2.0 by Olympus, and I'm super excited to try this thing out. So, uh, let's take this thing for a spin. See you outside. All right, guys, we're gonna jump right into this. So, uh, we got a few things to cover with this lens. We're gonna shoot in 1080, we're gonna shoot in 4K, we're also gonna shoot in both the uh, stabilization mode so that's one and two which is sensor and sensor plus digital and then we're also going to look at flat and the om log 400 profile so right now looking at this lcd i love how wide this lens is man like this is definitely wider than the 14 millimeter f 2.5 which is the lens i've been vlogging with uh for the last well well, since I started this channel. So uh, I just got this lens last night. This is the first time throwing it on the body. I've waited uh, <laughs> all night, waited the morning till right now. So if this is your first time seeing shots with this lens, you're seeing it the first time I'm seeing it. And right now I, I really like, I really like the, the, the picture quality coming from the LCD here. And uh, Talking about the 14 millimeter f2.5 by Panasonic, so maybe it was my ignorance or being new to YouTube or just a naive filmmaker, but when I when I got that lens and I threw it on this Olympus body, I just assumed that it would handle exactly the same as if it was thrown on a Panasonic body and. I don't think that's the case. So I've noticed that, you know, autofocusing, which the EM1X should have like dual pixel-esque autofocusing, it, it'll lose you or not necessarily lose you, but I guess be slow to focus and, and, and slow to grab. And that concerned me. So two, Two weeks ago, I guess, I started looking for an Olympus lens to see if that would give me any better results than what I was experiencing with the Panasonic lens. And I already had the 12 to 35 by Panasonic, so I didn't want the 12 to 40. And I wanted a wide lens for vlogging, and so that's what led me to this monster right here, the 12 millimeter f2.0. And right now, the autofocusing looks good. Uh, let's do a like an extreme close-up shot. What's up guys? <laughs> Get back here. Now, that looked pretty good. Um, so, another thing I want you guys to pay attention to uh, during this whole video is, look out for the wobbles, right? So, if you know anything about wide angle lenses, uh, it seems to be a characteristic that they, they all share, right? And that's this, weird wobble warpy effect back here. And so I don't know how to trigger those wobbles. Like I've tried different camera angles. Like we can try a bird's eye here. Let's go from the side. Go back straight. Let's get like a hero shot going. Uh, another thing too about the wobbles you really can't see them while you're filming. So while I'm shooting this right now, if I look over at the LCD, 
it looks perfectly fine to me, right? Like I don't see any wobbles at all, but when I throw it at an editor at home, all of a sudden they'll just creep up, right? And you'll get this weird, just dubstep wobble thing going on. So anyways, looking at this lens here, this is IS2 that we're on. So again, just shooting uh, sensor stabilization. We're shooting in the flat profile. Let's now switch over to IS1, which is gonna be sensor shift and digital, and see how, see how the crop does. All right, let's do that now. All right, guys, so we are on IS1 now, which is sensor shift and digital uh, stabilization. And right away, you should see a small crop going on. And actually, looking at the LCD here, it doesn't look like the crop is that bad. So when you're shooting with that 14 millimeter F2.5 and you use IS1, like the, the crop kind of comes in like this. It's not necessarily too close, but I don't think it's ideal, right? Like it's, and, and, and if you want it ideal, you're really stretching your arm out far, right? So here my arm is bent, it's pretty comfortable position, I guess. And uh, that looks really, really good. Uh, like, I actually dig it. And it it's kind of nice because you're essentially getting probably around the same focal length as the 14 millimeter, but then you're getting all the stops of stabilization that you get out of this body. I mean, minus if you had like the 12 to 100 stabilized lens. I mean, you're getting, what is it, seven, right? Seven stops of stab. And so let's see how that looks. Let's see if we can get this wobble effect going on in this mode too. So let's do that bird's eye. That hero shot. As you just got blinded by the light. Blinded by the light. <laughs> uh, let's go from the side here. Okay. So uh it's a little spin. And we'll see if we uh we get any wobbles at home. But yeah, so this is IS1, this is sensor shift and digital. We're still shooting in 4K, and this is the flat profile. Let's uh, let's switch this over to 1080, all right? So let's go right now. All right, guys, now this is 1080 all eye, and uh, this entire video is done in uh, 30 frames per second. So uh, this is kind of what you can expect from the 1080 mode here. Does it have me? So I am seeing a green box around my, my dome. Let's see here, there's, also there's these birds right here and they've like been hissing at me the entire time. I don't, I don't think they're stoked to be in this video. Uh, so yeah, so 1080 mode. Now, this will get upscaled to 4K since that's how I export this video, but let's see how that looks. And how is it doing with the, with the sun here? Now I do have a variable ND filter. I have the two point or the two to five stop by Freewell, and that's dialed all the way I can dial it. So uh, let's see here, and let's look at the wobbles. See if we get those guys. We're still in IS one, so we're still in sensor shift and digital. Okay, now let's switch back over to sensor shift one. And this entire video, remember, has been shooting in flat. So let's go back into sensor shift, um, let's go back into sensor shift two and let's switch it into the log profile. All right, guys, and we are in log. So one thing to notice about log is that it, OM log 400 is that the 400 stands for the ISO and that's because it can't go any lower than 400. Now on flat you can go down to 200 so you probably will see maybe the image brighten just a little bit. Um, I preferably, preferably, I prefer the flat profile 
overlog. And uh, I'm gonna give a shout out to Alpalco Films. Uh, we've been we've been chatting over the last couple days. Uh, he says the same thing. So Alfred, I'm the same way. I think flat is better than log. But um, here we go. Here, this is again sensor shift stabilization. So IS2 shooting in the OM log 400 picture profile. All right, it's looking good. Um, now. I think that is that is that is that about done? Did did, did did we nail everything? I think so. Let's uh, I'm gonna switch this back into the flat picture profile and uh, let's get home. All right, guys, we're probably about a block away, maybe a block and a half away from home here. And uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, do you guys shoot on the 12 millimeter f 2.0? If so, is it one of your most favorite lenses? I mean, I think it's absolutely fantastic. When you compare this lens against the Panasonic, I mean, this lens has an all metal body. It has this really cool uh, manual focusing clutch that you can pull down and it, it just feels quality when you pick up this lens. I mean, granted, this lens does cost quite a bit more, right? So. I think it's like $6.99 retail. Well, where well, where the Panasonic is, uh, well, I picked it up for about $150, but uh, this lens I end up getting from MPB for about $400. Bucks. Uh, no affiliation, um, not advertising for MPB. It's just, it's just one of my favorite places to go get lenses and bodies, I guess. And uh, yeah, other than that, guys, uh, I hope this video was informative. I uh, I hope you guys got something from it. At the very least, I hope it was entertaining. Um, other than that, man, I really, really appreciate you guys watching and subscribing and all that jazz. And uh, yeah, I'm home now, so uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good weekend. Later.